What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back in the Wilburn Shenanigans, where we always bring the shenanigans on this channel. If you're new, smash that subscribe button. We are on our way to hit 100K. Hang that plaque this year. Run them numbers up. My birthday is this weekend turning 30, so run them up. 30. Run them up. That is y'all gift to me. Run these numbers up. 30, uh, 30. This video, though, I don't know how I feel about it going into it before my birthday. Why? Because I feel like my, one of my rappers is going to be on this list. What? Satanic rituals that rappers don't want you to see. I this please don't let none of my favorites be on here mm -hmm. I, I always old soul to the devil i know <laughs> it's a crappy deal Kanye Lisa Kanye. came with a few toys like a happy meal these days, rap and Satan are having a moment. Satanic rappers, also known as occult rappers, are a subgenre of hip hop that incorporates that themes of Satanism and the occult into their lyrics and imagery. Some say it's just an act, a shtick, while others say the deal has been struck between the artist and the devil, exchanging their precious soul for fame. Many contemporary rappers have incited controversy referencing satanic images in their music and aesthetic, and these are the top 10. Lil Uzi Vert. Samir Woods, professionally known as Lil Uzi Vert, has always been explicit in his use of satanic imagery. Following in the footsteps of rock provocateur Marilyn Manson, using satanic imagery, lyrics, and merchandise have been used to incite controversy. Stop for a second and try to pronounce Lil Uzi Vert three times in quick succession. Guess what you would end up saying? Lucifer or Lil Lucifer? While performing at the 2018 Wireless concert, the Philadelphian rapper stopped the EXO Tour Life instrumental to share a message with the fans. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. He also added, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. That's f up, but I still love you. The rapper also released the track title. I think I might have had to exit out there. I might have had to exit his, his concert. I'd be like, bro, you tripping. We don't, ain't together. That's crazy. Don't, don't add me in your mix. Mm -mm. I don't listen to Lil Uzi, so I'm safe. 444 plus 222, which equals the biblical number of the B666. He's known for posting photos of upside down crosses on his Instagram page, which has led to some of his colleagues calling him out, most notably Offset. Offset posted an Instagram clip saying, All y'all doing upside down cross. Even my little partners, man. Where Stop the shit while you look lame. All that worship the devil. He was God, man. Lil Uzi responded by posting a picture on Instagram of a smiley face and an upside down cross and the number 666 tagging offset in it. The Migos what rapper the replied heck? to the post, writing, I will pray for you, my brother. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X, whose real name is Montero Lamar Hill, is a popular rapper and singer who is no stranger to the spotlight and tabloids concerning his provocative artistic persona and social media presence. After gaining initial fame with the hit song Old Town Road, he's gone on to release other songs which indicate the Georgian rapper's apparent interest in Satanism. He released a music video for his song Montero, Call Me By Your Name, that features him descending into hell while pole dancing and giving the devil a laugh. Dance. This generated a huge amount of controversy, which Lil Nas X ultimately reveled. In. He like, also posted pictures. I feel like because he went in with you know Miley Cyrus's dad, and I can't think of his name right now. And it's like you had a lot of kids. Yeah, you had like a lot of kids on that song, you know. And then you went from having this fan base up from kids that you went strictly to this. So it's like. Well, they calling him out right now anyway. They saying that he's he not really all the way gay. They saying like he used it for the narrative mm -hmm. to get big. They saying he. Mess with females, but yeah, I don't know how true that is. This video to me, like, it was no. They say I, he just no sell go. it. They say he just sell it. Just on social Which, media that show him wearing a pentagram paid. necklace and standing in front of a statue of Baphomet, a figure associated with Satanism. Shortly after the video's release, oh, New York-based art collective Mischief collaborated with Lil Nas X to make 666 pairs of unofficial Nike Air Max 97. The shoes, which cost $1,018 each, a reference to the Bible verse Luke 10:18, are Satan-themed and allegedly feature a drop of human blood. Playboy Cardi. Like, Jordan Terrell Carter, blood? professionally known as Playboy Cardi, is an American rapper who has gone from having an underground cult following to becoming one of the mainstream mumble rappers. Playboy Cardi is no stranger to the satanic lifestyle. His 2020 album, Old Lot of Red, featured several Satanesque references, as well as vampiric imagery and more. The Atlanta rapper garnered this attention from hit singles like Magnolia and Woke Up Like This, as well as his debut album, Die Lit, in 2018. In anticipation for his second album, Old Lot of Red, Playboy Cardi announced a collection of new merch, the bulk of which includes inverted crosses and pentagram necklaces. The 16-piece merch collection featured 12 types of clothing options, along with four household items. The sweaters and shirts have upside-down crosses 
crosses and statements like black leather devil printed on them. Immediately after images of the That's merch went live wild. on the internet, fans began talking about the clothes satanic appearance. He recently caused a frenzy amongst his fans when he displayed a Satan tattoo on the back of his neck. The Atlanta native shared a photo of his new ink on social media, which shows the word on his neck atop other eerie tattoos that have already faded. Others ridiculed Cardi's fans for making a big deal out of the new tattoo when it was obvious the rapper had been using satanic imagery in his work since 2019. Tyler the Creator Tyler the Creator is known for his My controversial boy. and often shocking lyrics, and his music often touches on satanic themes. He also includes satanic imagery in his music videos and live performances. When Tyler and his alternative hip hop group, Odd Future Collective, first Probably appeared in the early 2010s, the, the group was labeled as a bunch of double worshiping deviants. From having merchandise adorned with 666 and inverted crosses to the lyrical content, the group's references to Satanism were a topic of discussion on numerous forums and hip hop threads. Tyler's 2011 debut album, Goblin, is full of satanic references. On the album title track, Tyler is constantly alluding to how he's seen a devil worshiper. Oh, that's a triple three six? Isn't he a devil worshiper? Cause I'm too fucking ignorant to do some research. Yeah, After releasing his 2009 debut mixtape, Bastard, Tyler did an interview where he talked about the satanic references as well as where it all came from. He said, my grandmother once told me I was from hell since I was so evil. I kind of took that and flipped it. Since I didn't have a father, I sort of went to this devil guy as a role model. XXXTentacion. The now deceased XXX Tentacion, or Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy, was considered to be a pillar and a leading figure in the emo rap and SoundCloud rap genres, which started taking off in the mid 2010. Onfroy had a well documented interest in the occult right from a young age. He had a collection of occult books and even took part in rituals. On his double XL freshman cipher and his track, I Spoke to the Devil in Miami, he said everything would be fine. Onfroy mentioned selling his soul to Satan. In this track, X reminisces about his past wrongdoings, detailing a hypothetical conversation conversation with Satan about the state of his soul. Some standout lyrics from the track include, spoke to a Baphomet, said he would save me if I gave him what one thing he needed. What is this thing I pleaded? Boy, it's the key to even, yeah. Baphomet here refers to the enigmatic goat figure found in satanic imagery. The symbol represents Satanism and occultism. In this case, the Baphomet correlates to Satan, who wants one thing, X's soul. Trippy Red. Michael Lamar White II, oh, okay. professionally known as Trippy Red, is an American rapper and singer who has been gaining popularity in recent years in the SoundCloud rap scene for his unique blend of rap and emo music. He's been known to incorporate elements of Satanism into his music, often referencing Satan and using imagery associated with Satanism, such as pentagrams and horns. In many cases, they are used as a way to shock and provoke, as well as incite controversy among his fans and haters alike. He was seen posting this image on his Snapchat, which includes occult symbolism such as the all seeing eye, the head of Baphomet, a you biblical know number. Saying, you know what I think a lot of these artists that do that, I think they know it's a gimmick. Mm -hmm. Some of them might be really into it, but I think a lot of them is a gimmick. They know they're they going to get people to talk about, about it. They're going to get yeah. people to click their stuff, run the views up. Yeah. And technically that could be the, you selling your soul basically because you allowing it to. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where it come from. But I think a lot of them, they use it as a gimmick. Like he said, they're talking about it. Like they, shoes sold out in the. 5, 45 minutes like of the b666 as well as the pentagram this is trippy red's arms tattooed with several inverted crosses above the inverted crosses is the tattoo saying demons at play in this picture his shirt says take me to hell tell me it's heaven as a woman hugs the devil the official music video for his hit song topanga features a very eerie atmosphere with numerous heads of the baphomet scene as well as a pentagram with candles oh, all around it. the ohio native was also seen flexing lil nas x's bloodstained satan shoes on his instagram with only 666 pairs and existent, Trippy Red made sure to get his hands on a pair, complementing the diabolical theme seen in his music. Lil Pump. Gazzy Garcia, aka Lil Pump, is an American rapper and songwriter who has gained popularity for his energetic and boombastic style of rap music. He's one of the most prominent and controversial artists in the industry right now. His provocative antics have recently included incorporating satanic and occult themes into his aesthetic and music videos. In the music video for the hit track Illuminati by Lil Pump and Anul Double A, there are enough satanic references to make a priest whip out his holy water. The video starts with Anul Double A laying in a coffin, then immediately comes back to life and starts rapping. This represents initiation rituals in which the candidate dies and becomes reborn. When he starts rapping, we see an image of Baphomet flashing on the screen. Then, Lil Pump is seen surrounded by a mass people in what looks like an initiation ritual. His verse begins like this. Illuminati, might wake up tomorrow and buy a Bugatti. Illuminati, swerving in the Rari while I'm on an Oxy. Essentially, Lil Pump says the Illuminati allows him to purchase a Bugatti and drive a Ferrari while incapacitated on opioids. The video also features Lil Pump surrounded by Hellfire, as well as other 
notable signs of the occult, including the one eye sign and the head of horned beast. Young Thug. Young Thug is considered to be an influential figure of his generation. Known for his eccentric vocal style and fashion, his music has impacted the modern sound of hip-hop and trap music. His 2018 EP, Hear No Evil, featured a track called Up, and the music video for this track was met with controversy and scrutiny concerning the affiliation of the music industry with Satanism. Up by Young Thug featuring Lil Uzi Vert is one of the most blatantly satanic music videos in the history of rap, and you only need to see the first seven seconds to convince you. This video has no cohesive theme or narrative. It is essentially Young Thug and Lil Uzi Vert bouncing around while intense occult and satanic symbolism flash on the screen. The video description is basically, we own these two dudes, as the entire set looks like a satanic lodge. The video begins with the soulless girl crawling on a checkerboard floor surrounded by red drapes. To make things extra satanic, the scene is upside down. It also includes numerous shots of owls, which have been a long time symbol representing the occult elite. There is also a shot of a girl with seven eyes, which can be alluding to several Bible verses mentioning the seven eyes of the Lord. Sa Baby. One of the lesser known rappers on the list, Sahim Malik Valerie, professionally known as Sa Baby. The Atlanta rapper gained widespread popularity in 2017 after the release of his song, Pull Up With A Stick. He's also infamous for being the creator of Unknownism, a life philosophy that he described as accepting the fact that you don't know everything and you question everything. Unknownism has gradually gained a devout following, but many of his critics believe the philosophy is just another form of Satanism. For the 21 year old rapper, 666 or an inverted cross has nothing to do with Satan, but black affirmation. He once said that 666, that six protons, six electrons, six neutrons, that equals carbon 12. Carbon helps make melanin, so that's the scientific makeup of people of the same skin color as me. In short, he's trying to say that 666 is How actually about black power. Maybe, maybe not. There is a reason why a popular slogan says symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. Words can be twisted to mean anything, but symbols do not lie. Juice World. Juice World was an American rapper known for his unique blend of emo and hip hop music. Known for his emotional and introspective lyrics, often addressing themes of love, heartbreak, and mental health, he rose to fame with his viral hit Lucid Dreams in 2018. His death in 2019 has always been shrouded in some form of mystery, and many of his fans have wondered if it had any occult ties. His hardcore fans have noted that he predicted the manner and timing of his death down to a T. On his hit song Legends, the Chicago rapper mentioned that he would make it past 21. He said, what's the 27th? club we ain't making it past 21 i've been going through paranoia so i always gotta keep a gun damn that's the world we live in now yeah hold on just hear me out on the song rentals juice world said had a big heart till it could sold it had a good soul uh till it sold it on the track blast off he said the following Let's be honest, you're the devil's daughter. Say hey to your father, uh, he owe me $20. Here, he could be alluding to the possible deal he made with the devil and how the devil is yet to fulfill his end of the bargain. On December 8, 2019, at the age of 21, his death was ruled as caused by an accidental overdose of oxycodone and codeine. Regardless of the motivations behind it, the use of satanic themes in hip hop has sparked debate and controversy. Some critics have accused these artists of promoting Satanism and a harmful ideology, while others have defended their right for artistic expression. These Rappers keep pushing the boundaries of what is acceptable in music and creating a unique and provocative sound. Whether one finds their music offensive or edgy, there is no denying the impact that these artists have had on the world of hip hop. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other awesome videos on the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I think the biggest one that got me was probably Juice World and Tyler the Creator. Only because like I've listened to Tyler the Creator, but maybe it's a song. I think it's earlier. I, I think it's earlier years. He definitely was on that, but like his later albums, he yeah. He and then like Juice World, like what we've reacted to, I don't feel like any of it is like that. No, I don't think they as bad as the ones that got it. All oh in yeah, the in the beginning, but I've <laughs> like, like trippy ran all that. I don't all of them. I've heard of them, but I've never listened to any of their music. Only the people on that list <clears throat> I listen to Juice, um, we've Tyler the Creator. We've we've listened to some X songs. X. Um, but other than that, the other ones I already knew. Trippy Red and all them, they just yeah. they just act weird. So they in low pump. Like I said, I okay, never I, really I've them. heard of them, but never listened to any of them. But like, it's crazy because they that, they the younger generation. they using that art as a form, and I get music is an artist question, but I mean everybody got their own beliefs. I mean I, yeah. I get it, but like some of this stuff, I think it's a reach. I really do think it's a, a you, controversy sells. I always say like controversy is the biggest thing. You could do a controversy on anything, and people gonna click it. They are gonna watch it, look at it. So I think they do that in the music industry because they know people gonna click it. Mm -hmm. Lil X, X, he sold them shoes, or not? Uh, Lil Nas sold them shoes in forty-five minutes. They said. But now he's under fire because people that know knew him are coming up and being like, "Oh, this is not." Yeah, like fire. my thing is he sold them in forty-five minutes. So controversy is gonna sell. Y'all see all these say? I guarantee them that all them videos they show. God, guarantee they got numbers. I guarantee it.
Yeah, because curiosity kills the cat. Like so, people are gonna, regardless if you don't agree with it, you're gonna go look at it. And when you it random numbers up, you random they make money up. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And I it, that could be a part a part of like how you said they said let's sell they soul. Maybe that's a part of their gimmick. Like I sold my soul and I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna give me controversy and views. Forget what people are saying. I'm that's gonna make crazy. money off of it. But it's wild to see a lot of people on this list and what music has become. Like, I get it. It is an I'm art form. I'm not shocked that like who that. was on the list. No, though. I'm not either. But I, like, some of them videos I ain't never seen. I'm yeah, like, same. that's crazy, y'all. Like, I ain't same. ever seen half of them videos. Like, that's wild. I still to this day haven't seen Lil Nas X video. That one that was on here. I've that only known what they've shown. Like, yeah, I still haven't like, even I've watched never it. Seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just crazy that it's a gimmick that some of them using the. And I get it. I, that's why I'm giving X and Juice like kind of a benefit of doubt because they was going through like, both of them kind of had like mental stuff they was talking about they was battling anyway. So I ain't really gonna put them on the list to say like, oh yeah, they and then Tyler the Creator like, I think he did it because that's just you know he explained he was just doing his thing what his grandma said. So I think he more or less did it to get back at his grandma like you call me that anyway. But the rest of them for sure they didn't commit it they sold to whoever they want to commit it to because that's crazy. That's my bullying. This is a crazy video, y'all. y'all Let us know in. are you shooketh of the list or not. Yeah, let you us listen know. to them. Did you know this? Let us know how y'all feel. All that, but thank y'all for tuning in as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. See y'all in the next one.